For this project, I found a small receipt printer. I hacked into it using Python. Then I printed frames of a video for a new intro. This is the final product, and I'm gonna show you how I made this. The goal of this project is to try to control this small receipt printer using Python. I think I'm going to try to make a small animation using a series of frames. Okay, these printers are sick because they don't actually use ink. They just use these small rolls which you put inside that have a special type of paper that when you apply heat to them, the heat actually causes ink to be revealed. Actually only on the one side too. It doesn't even show up on the back, which is really cool. Uh oh, fire. Here are the steps I need to complete. First, I need to be able to use the printer with my code. So I have to plug the printer in, set it up, install any drivers that might need to run it, and then I need to figure out how I can use Python in order to communicate, send signals and information to the printer. So yes, this project involves a lot of coding. I don't think I'm gonna go too much into the coding for today just because a lot of it was debugging and trying to recover from errors and not a lot of it was actually writing the actual code. So because of that, I think that I'm kind of going to skip that part for this video, but I will show my testing and running of the project. Okay, this is the ultimate text. Is Owen Dolan a cool cat? All right, let's find out. We're going to run this function in and let's see what happens. Does it run? Oh, it run! Okay. All right, well, that was pretty successful. Okay, on the plus side, I managed to print something. On the downside, it's a blank sheet of paper. Okay, update. I'm able to print Hello World now. I can print a small sheet that says Hello World on it. Basically, now that I'm able to print text with the printer, I'm gonna see if I can print images. Well, I can't use my normal way of printing images because it wants all the information as bytes. In fact, even when I print text, I have to convert the text to a special file format called bytes, and I'm also gonna have to do the same thing with the pixels. So I have to somehow convert an image into bytes and then send the bytes to the computer. What I do want to do, though, is print this image. And there it is. Yeah, it didn't turn out very well. It's kind of unclear. Here's the video I made that I'm going to use to print out. So I made a small trailer. It's made up of a bunch of other video segments from past videos I've made. And I basically break down each video into a folder of individual frames. Then I print out each of those frames, and then using some stop motion, I'm basically gonna flip through all those, all those individual frames, and make a video. See, the one issue I'm having with the images I've printed so far out of the probably 40 images is that they're kind of unclear, but it's impossible to see what's on them. So I think I need to change the animation. Thinking this is because the frame is too low resolution um, and there's some bleed because it just uses heat to apply the ink. And I think that the heat is not exactly evenly applied. So I'm gonna switch this to a small, much more simplified animation. I still think this is gonna look really cool, but I just don't think I can really show a full moving picture. Okay, time to start over, but this is being recycled. So the last thing I need to do is make the stop motion element of the video. Using the frames I just printed out using my Python program, I'm gonna line them up one by one and iterate through just the way a flipbook would in a sort of animation. This is the final product. I'm pretty happy with how it came out considering this printer did end up working exactly the way I thought it would. If you guys enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos. Um, I kind of go in depth on other programming projects and this one was super fun to work on. So thanks guys. Bye.